welcome back to Marvel's Films. As you know, I do a lot of editing. There is drone stuff, YouTube channel and also weddings. So I bought myself a Logitech MX Master 2S to speed up my workflow. So I combine my keyboard editing shortcuts in Premiere Pro with this mouse to see what are the benefits. Know that these are my editing shortcuts and it doesn't have to be yours, but I'm programming them on my liking so you can make your own keyboard layout on Premiere Pro and also if you have a mouse with multiple buttons. So let's get straight in. The first and most used shortcut is the selection tool. When using various tools, you want to come back to the selection tool with a shortcut to go on with the edit. I set it to V. For the clear delete shortcut, I selected the B on my keyboard, right next to the selection tool, so it's close to the fingers. So you can use it for multiple things, and not only for deleting the stuff on your timeline, but also to clear effects or deleting not used videos on your project bin. The third shortcut is the razor tool that I put right off the left of the selection tool, the letter C on the keyboard. And I will show you why. Just three simple steps. Select, cut and delete. This editing type of shortcuts is great when I'm not editing linear stuff and I'm jumping to other clips in the timeline fast and replacing the content. For the Ripple Trim previous edit I selected the letter F. So it's really close to my fingers. There comes the Ripple Trim Next Edit shortcut placed right off the right on the keyboard letter G. So it goes like this. Ripple Trim Previous and Ripple Trim Next. And there came the handy Logitech MX Master 2S buttons. Yeah, it has a 4000 dp sensor and it will work even on grass. For long hours editing it has a thumb rest and my hand feels more relaxed. The mouse charges itself through the micro USB in the front, and it has a pleasant battery level LED status light on the thumb rest end. The best part is the free flow wheel that allows you to do this. It came with the Logitech option software so you can customize your buttons for a specific application. It has 6 programmable keys that I configured like this. For fast copying and pasting in Premiere Pro I set the front forward button for copying and the back button for pasting. Let's try it. Select the clip, copy and paste it elsewhere. Select also an effect, copy it and select another clip and paste it. Simply and effective. I configure the thumb rest button to jump in between my most used application like Adobe Audition, Lightroom and Premiere Pro. As for the thumb wheel scroll, it came really handy having a second option to scroll horizontally, let's say Photoshop or Premiere Pro for an increased zoom sensitivity when zooming on the timeline. There are also some other features of the mouse, like the seamless switch of the cursor on different computers and the button to switch between three different registered computers. But I didn't cover that cause I don't use these features. After editing more than a month on it, I got really used to the additional buttons of the mouse to speed up my editing. I like how my arm lands on it and after hours of hours of editing I don't feel uncomfortable. It still runs even if I had charged only once, so the battery inside is really great. There you go, 10 really fast editing shortcuts in Premiere Pro, also using the MX2 Master and this sound, whoa, this really great. Thanks again for watching, give me a really big thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe for more. Take a really great care of you.